Hello everyone, Robert Spurway, Managing Director of Global Operations at Fonterra. And it's my pleasure today to welcome Prime Minister John Key to Litchfield. Uh, he's been having a look at the site here and this is an opportunity to give an update on how this project's going. Prime Minister, first impressions? Yeah, Rob, it looks uh, fantastic. It's a huge investment here, you know, $400 million, and it's going to make a massive difference to not only what comes out of uh, this operation, which is largely being cheese, as you were telling me now, it's going to be milk powder as well, but also for jobs in the community, and it just shows what a powerful force, you know, Fonterra is and how prepared it's really getting for the big export markets that are in front of New Zealand. It is exciting, and it was nice to hear you talk to the staff today and the team. These projects do help us with making New Zealand more efficient and Fonterra more efficient. It adds value, part of our V3 strategy for our farmer shareholders. Not only are these plants the largest in the world, but they're the most efficient in the world. And we're very conscious with the demand supply situation in the world at the moment. Being efficient is really important for our farmers. Yeah, look, I think if you think of what's happening with dairy prices at the moment, yeah, they're a bit weaker, obviously, than they were 12 months ago. And the only way New Zealand's going to be able to get through the highs and lows, which you inevitably get in commodity prices and exchange rates, is efficiency here in your, both on-farm and in your manufacturing capability. Our farmers you know, have done a tremendous job over the you know, decades of improving their profitability and their efficiency. So is Fonterra as well. Look, we need Fonterra. It's um, you know, the flagship company we have. Have, you know, as we take our products to the world, you're huge, you're large, people love your products and we need you to be successful and this is what underpins all that. It is indeed exciting times and important times for, for Fonterra. We're going to hand across to Rob Gollan, you met Rob a short while ago. Rob's going to talk to the team about where we're at and some details on the project uh, and the progress we've made in the yeah. first six months of construction. Okay Rob, thanks again thanks for, for having me here. Today. Great, all the best. Excellent. Thanks Rob. Well it's been a fantastic week for everyone here at Litchfield site. We have the honour of hosting the Prime Minister and also the opportunity to welcome the local community onto site and share with them our progress today. The Litchfield site has really prospered in the South Waikato region, a region that is very passionate about its people, its culture and of course dairy. And it all starts with our farmers' milk. And for me a real highlight was to have our farmers alongside us hosting the local community and sharing their experiences. So my role on the project is the Capital Project Manager taking overall responsibility for safely delivering this exciting project. We've been on site for just over six months now and everyone is really enjoying the South Waikato hospitality and fine weather where we've been able to move over 150,000 cubic metres of earth to establish the construction sites. And at the heart of this construction is the powder dry towel. The foundations and the floor are down and they're starting to erect the panels and columns. It's amazing to think that we have poured enough concrete into those foundations to fill 10 Olympic-sized swimming pools. It's very important for us to take the learnings from previous builds and build them into efficiencies in the current build. And right now we have over 100 contractors working on site, doing fantastic work for us. Whether they are tying reinforcing steel, erecting panels, managing deliveries, or supervising teams, people across all levels of this construction doing their bit to ensure each and every one of us gets home safe. So a key focus for us over the coming months will be erecting more steel panels and it won't be too long before the shiny stainless steel starts arriving on site. So I hope you enjoyed the update and we look forward to keeping you posted.